Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cover page in Word. So the first thing we're going to do is insert the photograph. And the reason for that is we're going to base our color choices on the colors in the image, just ties everything in nicely and gives it some cohesion. So let's go to insert pictures, click on the drop down. You can select a picture from your files, which is this one here, but I'm going to use the stock images available in Word. So on the right here, you can see we've got a search bar. So I'm just going to type in construction and people, and I'm going to select this image here and click insert. Now I want to crop this image into a circle, but the first thing I need to do is to crop it into a square, because if I try to crop this to a circle, it will, because it's a rectangle, it will actually turn it into an oval. So select the image, go to picture format, go over to crop, click on the drop down, select aspect ratio and select one to one. And then you can move this photograph around this selection. I'm going to pop these two roughly in the middle, then press enter, then go back up to crop, click on the drop down and select crop to shape and select circle. And then we have our image cropped to a circle. Now you'll find you won't be able to move the image until you right click, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. And now we can move the image around and of course we can resize it. So we can put it at the edge here And now let's insert some graphics. So go to insert, shapes, circle. In order to ensure your circle is perfect, if I just click and drag now, you can see I've made an oval. If I hit the shift key, it will ensure that stays a perfect circle. So I'm gonna move this circle down here. Then I'm gonna copy and paste this circle by holding down my alt key, make sure it's selected, click and drag. Deselect it by clicking away, reselect it, and then I'm going to again hold down my shift key and pull out this circle. I'm going to make it quite large. It doesn't actually need to move across the page. And then don't worry about the image. And then I'm also going to go to insert, shapes, square, and then just click and drag out a rectangle that just covers the bottom of that page. There we go. Now, obviously this is really confusing. So what we'll do, we'll just quickly change the color of this shape to enable us to see what we're doing. So select it, go to shape format, go to shape fill, click on the drop down, and let's just change it to yellow. And now because this is the background, we're going to select it, go to shape format, go to send backwards, click on the drop down and select center back. So now that rectangle is right at the back of our design. So let's bring this forward here, this image, select it, go to picture format, go to bring to forwards, sorry, bring forwards, click on the drop down and select bring to front. Now we want to base our color choices on this image. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the background, go back to shape format, go back to shape fill, click on the drop down and go down to more fill colors. Here you have your color wheel, but in there you have this eyedropper tool here, click on it, and then you can move through this image. You can pick any color from this image. So I'm just gonna go and select an orange and click okay. And there's that orange color in the background. Now you might think that's a bit bright. If you do, just go back, repeat the process. I've actually got a color here that I chose earlier. And then you can do the same with the circle at the top. Now the circle at the top, I wanted to keep quite plain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same process, more fill colors, click on the eyedropper tool, and then I'm going to select one of these really light colors here and click OK. Now it's still a bit too dark. You can go back up. Let's repeat the process. You can see I've selected this bright color here. So let's see if we can find that bright color round about here. Click OK. It's not quite white as you can see. And we've also got this borderline running around here. Now you might want to keep that borderline, goes all the way around the circle, but I'm going to get rid of it. So select the circle, shape format, shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. So there's the first part of your cover page. 
Now we can just reduce the size of this image a little bit. There we are. And the same with this one here, shape format, shape fill, more fill colors. And again, using the eyedropper tool, we can move anywhere we like around this image. So I can't remember, I selected maybe this one here, click OK. That may be the color that you want, but I remember earlier I found this color here and it was around about, it may have been on her sleeve actually. Let's go back and have a look if it was on the sleeve. Let's just move that eyedropper tool over. Yeah, it was roughly about on her sleeve. So let's select that. It's still got that borderline running the, around the outside. You can get rid of it if you want to. So shape format. Now, because we've selected no fill previously, you don't have to click on the drop down. Just select the shape outline icon and that borderline will vanish. So now we've got all of our graphics in place. You can obviously move them around so that it suits your needs. But let's get a logo in. So go to insert picture picture from file and then I'm going to select this logo here that I have and click insert. Now what you'll find is that sometimes when an image or a logo is inserted you can see the outline but you can't see the image and it's there it's just behind this giant circle. So it's inserted but it's gone behind so we need to bring this logo forward so again select it go to picture format now you can see bring forwards and send backwards is grayed out. So go to wrap text, click on the drop down, select in front of text. And we can move this circle back over. And then we can move our logo into the corner. We can resize it. There we go. Now let's insert some text. Go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box and click and draw out a text box. You can see all text boxes will come with a black border and a white background. So we'll get rid of both of those, select it, go to shape format, shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. Then click inside your text box and you can begin to type. So I'm going to type out the date and then I'm going to customize my text. So if I deselect the text box and reselect it, I don't have to actually select the whole text. I could just go to the home tab and make my customizations using these icons here. So let's change the font size to 22 and my font is going to be Arial. And as I have customized my font and my text box, what I don't want to do is have to redo all of that process over and over again. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this box again, select it, hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag. If you don't want to use that technique, obviously you can go to Command or Control C, Command or Control V, or you can go up and use the icons up in the Home tab, which is obviously Copy here and the Paste icon here. So now I just need to change my text and I'm going to increase that font to 48. And I'm also going to make it bold. We go, move that over there. Again, holding down my Alt key, click and drag. Deselect, reselect this one. Deselect, reselect, uh, take the bold off. I'm going to take that down to 40, which is not on here. So I'll have to manually insert 40 and press enter. The reason I've done 40 is because you can see it pretty much covers the same distance as the word corporate above it. Then again, click and drag out another text box, change the text again, and then we'll change the text again. I'm going to change this font to 20 and I'm also going to change the text. Now when putting all these text boxes in, you want to make it look as good as possible. So you're going to want to space these out so that it looks quite professional and you're also going to want to line them up. So place it where you think you like it and then and click on all of the different text boxes. Go to shape format, go to align and select align to left. And that should mean everything's now lined up to the left hand side. Then once you're happy, you can also group it together. But let me just copy and paste out another text box because I need to use some text down here. Hold down your command or control key and select all of the text boxes again. Go to shape format, group and select group. Right, so that text box was actually copied as well. So let's go back, Command and Control Z. 
So I'm just going to select these text boxes here, group. So now you can move this around as one element. And so if you need to adjust it, you can. You can also use the zoom out tool here, and zoom out and you get a pretty good idea of what it will look like as well. And you can see if something's not quite right. And then we're going to do the same at the bottom, but we're going to use one text box this time and change just the font of a couple of lines of text just gives you a different technique to use. So this text here is just authors. And then I'm just going to press return twice and enter in my names. And these names, I'm going to reduce the font size, go to the home tab, reduce those to 16. I'm going to copy and paste authors, copy, command or control C, place my cursor at the end of the names and press return twice and then paste and just change this text. And then again, I'm going to grab one of these names, copy, command or control C, go to the end here, return key twice, command or control V to paste, change the name, and then we'll just put her position. Perfect. And again, you can move this around anywhere you like. So this is just a really quick and simple cover page design. If you're struggling or you just can't be bothered to do this design yourself and you just want to download, you can visit my Patreon site and find the download there. I hope this has helped you. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.